Welcome back everybody. Today is the first video in my new LaTeX series. So the objective of today's video is to install LaTeX on Ubuntu and then write a very simple hello world example, get it compiled and open it in a PDF viewer. So with that I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is just open a terminal. Um, as you may be able to tell, uh, and as you may have seen in my previous video, I'm working inside of a Lubuntu virtual machine. So Lubuntu is basically just a lightweight um, version of Ubuntu. So all the commands I type here will hopefully work on your Ubuntu installation or inside of the Windows subsystem for Linux if you're using um, Ubuntu there. Of course, to install a package, we're just going to do sudo app install. And, um, well, actually, one thing we want to do first, I do know that the, the name of the package is tech live. So, whoops, <laughs> hold on. Yeah. So the, the general name of the package here is um, tech live, but there are usually a bunch of different versions of tech live. So we're just going to app search for that. And of course, we don't need uh, sudo app search tech live. There should be a bunch of these actually. And here you can see the one that we're going to install, which is Tech Live Science. Now, I'm obviously a bit biased because um, I often use the AChemSO um, document class in my LaTeX files, which is for the American Chemical Society because I'm publishing uh, papers about chemistry. Um, you can install Tech Live Full, uh, which will give you everything here. But as you'll see, it'll include a bunch of these languages that you are probably not going to need. And last time I remember installing TechLive full, I think it was like five or six gigabytes. So while that will give you absolutely everything available, you're probably not gonna need it, and you may want to stick with something else. Of course, you could just do TechLive or TechLive base, but um, at least in my case, those probably are not gonna include um, AChemSO, for example, the document class. So I'm gonna go ahead and install TechLive Science, which I'll do with sudo app install. Tech Live Science, and hopefully that will not be too large. Now, at the end of my last video, when I was actually installing Lubuntu in the first place, I did already run a sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. So basically, right before I recorded this video, <coughs> if you haven't done that, you may want to um, do an update and an upgrade before you install these new packages. So this will be the first package we'll install, and this should actually give us access to the LaTeX commands we need. The main one of those, of course, uh, let's see, put that over here. Can I make a new one? New tab, maybe? Actions. Oh boy, I don't know how this works. I'm just trying to open a second terminal. Okay, there we go, second terminal. So the main commands that we're going to be using here are PDF LaTeX, um, which will just generate the, uh, will generate a PDF for us. And that, yeah, that'll be the main thing we're gonna use. Um, there are some other ones, I think you can just run LaTeX or um, this will also install just plain tech, but we're not even going to, to mess with that for now. Now, while we wait for this to install, let's see if we have Vim installed, excellent. So, while we wait for this to install, let's go ahead and knock out our hello world example. So the basic thing you're gonna wanna do for this, I usually call my documents main.tech. It doesn't really matter what you call it, and you can of course give them different names depending on the project you're working on. But I usually like to keep mine consistent for the same reason I do this um, for like my chemistry program input files. I always call them the same things. That way you can write scripts that don't even have to be parameterized on um, the name of the file. I'm trying to zoom in just a little bit here. View, yeah, let me try closing Vim first. There we go. Hopefully that is very visible. Now again, I'll just go back to main.tech. And the, the first thing you may have already heard me talking about is the document class. So when you start a LaTeX document, you have to declare what class the document has. And you do that um, with this backslash document class command. 
Now this is something to get used to if you've never seen LaTeX before. Um, all of the commands, or I guess really they're called macros, begin with a backslash. So this is just backslash document class. And the basic one that I think probably most people will use first is just article. This is a very simple document class that includes the main things that you need. Now, with that defined, we actually uh, we can't just start writing our document quite yet. We also have to actually begin the document itself. Now, another common pattern you'll see in later videos are these matching pairs of begin and end blocks. And in fact, I'm going to have another video where we set up Emacs, of course. I mean, if you've seen any other videos on my channel, you should have been wondering when Emacs would come into this. But in the next video, we'll set up Emacs for working with LaTeX. Right now, we're just using basic Vim and typing everything by hand. But Emacs, with the Octech package, um, has a lot of facilities for working with these kind of blocks. But you're going to see this a lot. We've got begin and end blocks. And to get anything on the page, we're going to go going to want to go ahead and have begin document and end document. And in here, we're free to um, use all the great things about LaTeX. So as I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and say hello world. And we can save and quit that for now. Now it looks like um, this finished installing. So we're going to go ahead and try to run PDF LaTeX on our main file. Now you can run PDF LaTeX with just main and it'll it'll figure out that it's supposed to have the dot tech extension or you can go ahead and type the whole file name it's not really a big deal. Now if we type ls <laughs> of course I should have done this in a separate directory but I now have all these main files in my um, home directory. Now it'll always create these aux files and log files the contents of which are not really important to us right now, but we may look into in the future. And then the main thing for us is this main.pdf file. Now, one other package that I really like for working with LaTeX is a PDF viewer called Zathura. So let's go ahead and do sudo app install Zathura. I'm sure there is a PDF viewer available on the system right now. Um, but uh, one thing that's nice about Zathura is that it automatically updates uh, on any changes to the file, which is really nice. We're gonna, we can open the PDF file, change our LaTeX document, recompile it, and Zathura will automatically update for us. So we'll get that installed. And then what we're gonna try to run is main.pdf. And you can see, oops, then we've got our document right here. Now, does this have any snapping? Okay, no. <laughs> Okay, and there you go. We've got our hello world example on the page. And just to show you what I was talking about before, is that if we go back into our main.tech file, hello world, uh, let me, let's just give you a little teaser of the kind of things that we can do. So one of the big things that's nice in LaTeX is that you can use uh, mathematical symbols. So let's just throw an alpha in there on a new paragraph. If I save that, I run PDF LaTeX again. You'll see that Zathura goes ahead and updates that for us, no problem. Okay, so that should get you going at least. You've got LaTeX installed. We've got a simple document with a document class, an article, and you know how to compile it. And I think that's all we're gonna do for today. Like I said, I'm gonna have a next video that doesn't really belong in the series, but it'll be setting up Emacs as a LaTeX development environment. I already have one video kind of like that on my channel, but it was part of an Emacs series, not a LaTeX series. So this will be a nice brief video just setting it up for LaTeX. And then we're going to get back uh, to the, the actual LaTeX content, talking more about things like tables and figures and references. But until next time, see you then.